talking a little football, uh, of course, with preseason in full swing, uh, 18 days until the NFL season opener between uh, the two Super Bowl participants, and three weeks away from the first Sunday um, of NFL action. Uh, you know, it's right around the corner. Um, you know, so let's talk a little football, and um, particularly, particularly, I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, on Wednesday, ESPN posted uh, their preseason NFL uh, power rankings. Um, top ten teams, I'll name them in order from one to ten. Uh, starting with the Seattle Seahawks, number one. Arizona Cardinals were two. New England Patriots were three. Green Bay Packers, four. Carolina Panthers, five. Pittsburgh Steelers 6, Cincinnati Bengals 7, Denver Broncos 8, Kansas City Chiefs 9, and Minnesota Vikings 10. Uh, those were the top 10 teams ranked according to ESPN. Um, you know, I know they have a panel. I'm not sure how many people. Uh, I believe it says. You could check it out. They posted it on Wednesday. Uh, you know, just type in ESPN NFL rankings. You'll definitely see it. Probably tells you how many people are on the panel. Uh, then their bottom five teams that they ranked, 28 through 32. 28th was the San Diego Chargers. 29th, the St. Louis Rams. 30th, the Tennessee Titans. 31st, the Cleveland Browns. And dead last, boy, how the, how the, how the mighty have fallen. Uh, San Francisco 49ers just seemed like two, three years ago, uh, you know, bona fide Super Bowl contenders, and here they are currently being ranked as the worst team in the NFL, according to ESPN. Um, so what I wanted to do today was uh, take a look at some of these teams and, uh, you know, let you know if I believe that I think they're either too high or too low in the rankings. Of course, this is only my opinion. Um, you know, a lot could happen in the NFL. Believe it or not, injuries do happen in football. So, uh, you know, key injuries could definitely affect teams in a negative fashion that otherwise, uh, you know, seem like a team that could be destined for the Super Bowl. Um, you know, surprises happen. A lot happens. Hard to predict. Uh, but, you know, just looking at the rankings, there are some teams I've looked at and saying, really, that low? Or, wow, that's kind of high. Uh, you know, so let's take a look at them. And I'm going to start with the defending Super Bowl champions, Denver Broncos, number eight on the list. Um, you know, I know in the NBA, uh, they have Mark Stein do the rankings. Uh, his preseason ranking, he automatically ranks... Uh, the defending NBA champion number one, regardless of what happened during the off season. Not sure if they do it in baseball. I'm not necessarily saying it's the right thing to do. You know, it's your choice. Um, but I think dropping the Broncos down to number eight may just be a little too steep. Um, yes, they did lose uh, two of their linebackers. Uh, Malik Jackson went to the Jaguars. Danny Trevathan went to the Chicago Bears. Uh, they lost their two quarterbacks who started games for them, Peyton Manning due to retirement, and Brock Osweiler signing a deal with the Houston Texans to become their starting quarterback. Um, you know, So right now, the opening week starter hasn't even been named yet. Uh, they have veteran Mark Sanchez, Pack, uh, this season's first round pick Paxton Lynch and 2015 seventh round pick Trevor Simeon all battling for that starting quarterback position. You know, not they aren't three of the sexiest names at the quarterback position. Um, you know, so why do I believe even with those three choices that they should still be higher than number eight? Well, keep in mind. You know, great story, Peyton Manning ending his career on a high note, winning his second Super Bowl championship uh, before retiring. Uh, but let's keep in mind, he did not have a good season last year. Uh, he went, made nine starts during the regular season, throwing nine touchdowns and 17 interceptions. Uh, you know, not a good season at all. Easily his worst 
And, you know, despite those subpar numbers, the team still went 7-2 and two in his nine starts. Uh, you know, so they weren't necessarily relying on quarterback play last season in order to make and win the Super Bowl. Um, you know, he had a pedestrian Super Bowl game, too. Just did enough, you know, to help him beat the Panthers. And Osweiler was good. Ten touchdowns, uh, six interceptions, but, you know, good but unspectacular. Um, you know, nothing special about him. Um, you know, so both those guys gone. Three choices at quarterback. Um, you'd really have to believe, um, you know, at least especially Mark Sanchez, who has experience. Um, you know, you'd have to believe at least he would be able to put up better regular season numbers than Peyton Manning did. Um, you know, they matched C.J. Anderson, who uh, received an offer sheet from the Miami Dolphins matched his contract, so you could expect him to possibly get the ball more than he did last year, which would put less of an onus on the quarterback, um, and you know, they still got talent on that defense, uh, Chris Harris, Von Miller, Demarcus Ware, possibly Aqib Talib, um, you know, could be facing a suspension after, uh, being shot in the leg, and, uh, could have been his own gun that did the shooting, uh, you know, of course, that would be having a gun that he's not registered for. Um, you know, we'll see if he gets suspended. Even if he does, you know, still, as I mentioned, bootload of talent on that defense. Uh, so, Broncos definitely still expect to be one of the better teams in the NFL. I would have had him higher than number eight. Uh, let's look at a team that I believe... I believe should have been lower, and that's the Baltimore Ravens, who were ranked as number 12 in the power ranking. Just the Ravens, team that's often made the playoffs, but they are coming off a 5-11 and season. Um, you know, they did have some key injuries. Lost Terrell Suggs, who did not play a game. Uh, Steve Smith got hurt about halfway through the season, wide receiver, uh, but you know, We'll see how well those guys will be able to come back from injury. Steve Smith, currently 37 years old, while Terrell Suggs will be turning 34 in October. Uh, Justin Forsett, the running back, he had a breakout 2014 season, uh, but suffered a broken arm in October um, last season, um, and he will be 31 in October. Uh, you know expect him to slowly decline, didn't really have that greatest, wasn't having nowhere near the season he did in 2014 before he got hurt, uh, yes, Joe Flacco had that dominant postseason where he helped lead the Baltimore Ravens to a Super Bowl championship, but we're still waiting for that dominant Joe Flacco regular season, um, you know, if anything, probably been a, maybe better than a slightly, slightly better than average. Slightly better than average quarterback, starting quarterback in the NFL uh, during his tenure. Uh, you know, no dominant season. Um, you know, basically got that huge contract because of that postseason. Um, you know, so we're still waiting for that. They lost uh, offensive lineman Eugene Monroe and Kalechi Ozameli. Um Defense, of course, has always been known as one of their specialties. Right now, it looks fairly average. Um, you know, so I just think 12 is too high. Let's see what they could do. You know, as I mentioned, coming off a 5-11 and season, uh, you know, where some key older players got hurt, how well will they be able to recover from injury? Um, you know, so I just think they're a little too high. Um, you know, I'd put them a little bit lower. Um, another team, I believe, that, should be a little bit higher. The Detroit Lions, uh, you know, who just missed that bottom five I named, actually were sixth to the bottom with the 27th rank. And, you know, they were had a great second half of the season last year. Finished 7-9, and nine, but, you know, that came after a 1-7 and seven start. Uh, you know, so 6-2 and two in their last eight games, and one of those losses was uh, due to a what was a controversial... Hail Mary pass uh, to Richard Rodgers by the Green Bay Packers uh, to win. Um, you know, the play before a penalty was called to give the Packers another chance. Whether it should have been called is questionable. But, you know, the Lions definitely performed very well in that second half of the season. Uh, you know, of course, a lot of people expect them to make that dip. 
because of the surprise news. Surprising news once Calvin Johnson announced he would be retiring at the age of 30. Of course, he's been one of the most prolific wide receivers since entering the NFL. Uh, you know, so of course, that's a huge loss. But even without him, um, it's not like they have a bad wide receiver corpse. Uh, you know, Golden Tate has performed well with the Lions in his two seasons. And they added Marvin Jones. Uh, you know, we'll see if he can improve his numbers now that he will not be in A.J. Green's shadow with the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, you know, helped uh, add some offensive line pieces to help protect uh, quarterback Matthew Stafford, including guard Jeff Schwartz and first-round pick offensive tackle Tyler Decker. Uh, Tyler Decker. Uh, Stafford was sacked 44 times last year, uh, you know, so the improved uh, pass protection should help that number dip. Um, defense led by Ezekiel and Saw, breakout season last year in his third year in the league, 14 and a half sacks. Uh, you know, could be a dark horse in defensive player of the year race. Um, and look at their defense as a whole, how much it improved during the course of the season. And, you know, many of the pieces are still intact. But in their first eight games, they had allowed at least 24 points in seven of them. But in their last eight, only twice did uh, the opposing team reach that 24-point mark. So the defense, uh, you know, improved in the course of the season. Uh, you know, look for much of that to remain. And, you know, the Lions would be, you know, may, definitely excuse me, not definitely, probably not a playoff team, but, you know, a team that should probably, will probably be ranked higher than 27th once the season ends. Uh, so that's two I believe that should be higher. One I've done that sh I believe should be lower. So let's do another team I should be, I believe should be lower, and that's the Pittsburgh Steelers at number six. Now, Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, uh, have been a very successful franchise over the years, winning Super Bowls. Uh, finished 10-6 and six last year. Uh, defeated the Cincinnati Bengals in the opening round of the playoffs. Uh, you know, of course, they were without their starting quarterback, Andy Dalton. Um, currently have Le'Veon Bell suspended three games. Uh, that dropped from what was originally a four-game suspension for what is being said uh, that he missed his drug test. Um, you know, he missed a lot of time last year. Played in, I want to say five or seven games. I, I don't recall at the moment, but less than half the season. And, you know, D'Angelo Williams filled in quite admirably in his absence. Uh, you know, they still have Williams there. Uh, you know, so it won't be a huge loss. Of course, it is a loss. Le'Veon Bell, one of the most, um, you know, versatile running backs in the NFL. Uh, you know, but a couple of reasons why I don't believe they maybe should be ranked as high as six. Well, Ben Roethlisberger, he made 11 starts last year, but seemingly misses, you know, a game or two here and there every season. Uh, you know, backup quarterback situation isn't the greatest. Uh, currently Landry Jones, I believe, who threw four interceptions in a preseason game this week. Uh, you know, so Roethlisberger goes down. That's a huge blow to the team. Uh, one of Roethlisberger's main security blankets uh, long term, long time tight end with the Steelers, Heath Miller, uh, retired. Um, you know, so that's a loss. They signed Ladarius Screen uh, away from the Chargers. Uh, you know, hoping that he would take his place, but he's been injured pretty much the whole um, off season and still currently is. Of course, they have a beast at wide receiver in Antonio Brown. Uh, you know, easily could argue is the best wide receiver in the game. But, you know, Martavis Bryant, their number two wide receiver from last year, last year, is suspended for the entire 2016 season. So they will need Marcus Wheaton to step up in his stead. Um, and then another reason I don't think they should be that high, again, just look to be a fairly average defense. Although they did look to improve it via the draft, uh, their first three draft picks were defensive players, including their first round pick. Uh, cornerback Artie Burns, um, you know, so Steelers, another 10-6 and six record wouldn't surprise me, but, um, you know, 10-6, and six, not quite sure if that would give, is deserving of what would be a 6th place ranking in the power rankings, 
I would put him a little bit lower, not a lot lower. Uh, you know, definitely still top 10, but I would never have put him ahead of the Broncos. Uh, you know, I don't agree with that.